Well, let's get started with superb story. Today we are going to learn the name of the story is Lesser Known Story of Meera Bhai Chanu, our superb leader. Yes, who is Meera Bhai Chanu? And you will be very inspired knowing her. Let's get started. Yeah. Yes. Yukta, can you please share? Coach, I'm I need the host. Yeah. I'm making the host. Yes. Please share who is Mirabai Chan. Mirabai. Yes, she is Mirabai. Can you put it in image mode? Images. Which this is Mira by Chanu. Ah, yes. So, Olympian, then World Cups, and different other medals she has won. Okay, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And did everybody manage to see that? Riti, did you see that? Yeah, wonderful. Great. Okay, sorry, sir. Well done. Yes, I have reclaimed as a host. I'm on spotlight, right? Yeah, Riti, I'm on spotlight. Okay, wonderful. So this is a wonderful, inspiring story of Meera by Chanu, our superb reader. Okay, yes. And uh, this has been written in our blog, our superb woman blog, the lesser known story. I will send you the link to all of the readers. It's very inspiring. A lesser known story of Meera by Chanu, our superb leader. Yeah, so this was published on... Uh, 8th of April 2021, correct? Yeah, the name of the story is when a president ate poor Indian girls leftover rice. A president ate a poor Indian girls leftover rice. That's the name of the story. It's a true story. A president ate her rice. Huh. So lesser known story. Her lesser known story of Meera Bhai Chanu, our super leader. She was 10 years old, born in a very low income, very poor in Nongpong Kaichung, 200 kilometers from Imphal. Where is Imphal? Anybody knows very quickly Imphal? Riti, where is Imphal? Imphal. Quickly, where is Imphal? It's northwest side of India. Yes, northeast side. Imphal is also the capital of which state? Imphal? Nepal? Imphal. No, Imphal. Nepal? Okay. No, Nepal is a different uh, country. Nepal is okay. the capital is Kathmandu. And okay, so uh, Nepal uh, puts some state with uh, the N name. I forgot now. It's uh, Mizoram. Okay. Yeah. But okay now coming back to that. So there are these seven states we have there. We also have them seven sisters, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam. Nanga land and all that. Okay. So in that there is a this thing, a small village, which is 200 kilometers from Imphal, which is Mizoram. And Chanu was the youngest of six. There were six brothers and sisters. And uh, one day what they were they were collecting firewood. And they were bringing it two kilometers away. They had to collect firewood. So no gas, nothing. Just imagine that. Everybody pay attention. She's such a beautiful this thing. Her brother. Her elder brother could not lift the bundle one day. But what happened was Meera quickly put her head, put it on the head and brought it about two kilometers away. What happened is when her mother saw that, she was like, wow, this is amazing. This is this is beautiful. And uh, then uh, this thing, they all went to the neighbor's house. They didn't have a TV. Neighbor's house, small TV. They were all watching. Where they were watching? Uh, weightlifting. They were watching. Weightlifting was very popular there. Okay. A lot of people would participate there. Now, she was watching TV. Her mother came and she said uh, to everybody, she said, oh, it is so sad, my dear, uh, that today you have to pick up. If he, if he would have had a bullock cart, 
if you would add a bullock card you would not have to carry such a huge bundle so the young girl asked mama how much does a bullock card cost so the mother said oh it's so much of money so much of money that we will never ever see that much of money in our entire life had dejected mother's reply and she went away so a miravai asked but why can't this money be earned there should be some way to make money to buy a bullock card so what happened one of the villagers the neighbor so he said mirabai you are capable of lifting such heavy weights when compared to weight if you start weight lifting and win gold medals for the game you can sell the medal and buy a bullock card for the family sell the gold sell the gold medal and buy the thing she said yeah it's a good idea it's a good idea if i win this thing uh, and she thought and she started training for weight lifting amazing can you see that from where a small inspiration came isn't it ariti if you remember uh, even when we saw the movie everybody when you yashmit when we all saw the movie 12 fail isn't it yeah he saw the ips officer he saw the power he had and uh, he was inspired after that there was no stopping back so wherever you are ariti that one inspiration can change everything yeah okay yes she started to learning about the sport it is a very good idea so she said very good idea i will win the gold and uh, sell the gold and buy the bullock card she started a learning journey about sports about weight lifting and all that she began practicing in kuman lumbang sports complex in imphal one day her train was late train from that particular place it was so late that it was it was no night time she had no place in the city so she went to this temple to take a refuge young girl okay riti 11 years old 11 years she had no place she could not return back to her village because there was no train okay and so and uh, what she should what could she do stadium she cannot go she cannot practice how will she how will she return back so she saw arya samaj mandir arya samaj is again a uh, kind of a religion a temple and uh, she went and met the priest baba baba okay she sought refuge but she said ah, i can't shelter you here dear this is a temple we have one roof on the top one roof on the top but there is no ceiling there is no ceiling work is going on the sheets the iron bar everything is all kept we cannot keep the ceiling and all the other things so but i cannot allow it to it's, it's very bad soil sand a construction site Riti, imagine how a construction site will. That it is the iron bars, stones, and all that is kept. Walls are made. There is no, no, nothing on the roof. She said, "No, no, no, Baba. I don't have anywhere to go. Please, uh, where can I go, Baba? This, this allow me to please stay in this room without a terrace. I'm okay. Please help me." She said, "Okay, as good as you wish." The Baba went away. She slept on the soil in the night. She slept in the night and. Uh, during the night it started to rain drizzling little rain started meera had no but she got to work she took the iron angles on the wall put the, put this on top carpenters had half finished frame she put that she picked up stones everything and she built up she built a room she built a room and she got completely wet and then she slept under it it rained heavily that night and now with the intact ceiling she slept like a baby she was very tired though she was wet she slept 11 year old next day when baba came you surprise what how did you build this he was very surprised that this girl lifted such heavy weights and all that how old is she 11 now uh, the baba got some work he got that place ready now what this girl will do she will practice till late Five days in a week, Riti. Five days in a week, she will stay there. She will not go home alone in a room. Eleven-year-old girl, Baba prepared her and fed rice. Baba would make rice. The temple priest would make feed rice to her and Meera Bai uh, made this thing and cover this thing covered uh, the room with cow dung and yellow soil. Okay, this is what. And whenever she got time, she started learning how to read and study. She never gone to school. She never ever been to school. The Baba gave her one book of, uh, one book of, uh, of about India, India independence and all that patriotism, which had stories of Bhagat Singh, 
uh, all these big, big, big people who sacrificed Rani Lakshmi like Bai, Shiva. So now uh, she became, then uh, this started to happen and uh, Baba used to read to her, she used to learn out of this thing and she would practice. Now listen to this is what happened. At the age of 11, she became under 15 national champion. She got the junior title at the age of 7, 50, 11 and also 17. At the age of 11, Riti, at the age of 11, Yukta, you all call inspiration. At the age of 11, she won two titles. She beat people under 17 and under 15. She beat. She was junior champion. Yeah. One day what happened is she wanted to practice. They said, uh, you need to buy these iron bars and all and practice and all the other things. She couldn't buy. She was sitting and crying. Baba said, don't worry. We'll do something. Baba found a way. The they, iron bars are very expensive. The iron is very expensive. They made it out of bamboo. <laughs> yeah. Finally, what did Baba do? Was, there is a lady called Kunjurani. Kunjurani is also an ex-Olympian. She's an Olympic, Olympic medalist. So she went to Manipur. Okay. She, Manipur uh, Kunjurani, her name is. So she had the one in Athens, Athens Olympic. So Mirabai went to Kunjurani to get trained and Kunjurani took her and this thing and started coaching her. Inspired by Kunjurani, that dreamed of becoming a world champion. Meera broke her 12-year national record and became the ideal at 2016 by lifting 192 kgs. She made national record. Now coming back to the main story. What was the main story? What is the main story? She was poor. Main story was what is the main story? When well, president of ate, took her uh, portion of rice. Ah, when the president ate her leftover rice. Yeah. Okay. So this was she was now in AM, California, USA. She had gone to participate under world champion. She was attending state dinner. All the uh, this thing, the, all the participants will attend state dinner where they are all invited, and they will be uh, this thing eating together before the uh, before the open or the sports meet will happen. So what happened is she was eating in her own plate. She had her own utensils, and she was eating that. The president, the president, the world lifting champion, president, the World Federation of Weightlifting Champion, he came and saw. What is this girl is eating in a very old plate, old broken bent metal plate and all the other things. He went to this girl and he asked, what happened? Why are you eating this? Somebody, somebody go and bring her. What fine cutlery we have in such a wonderful china. She said, no, no. I want to eat in this only. Okay. So he asked, why this player has been served? Everybody said, we told her. Uh, why is she being treated? Is she untouchable or what? What is this? She said, no, no. That is what uh, everybody said. And her name is Mirabai. So wherever she goes, she said, wherever she goes, she'll bring rice. She doesn't eat from outside. She'll eat her own rice. She'll bring her own rice from India. Here too, she has bought the rice on her own country. She prepared in her own room. She boiled the rice in her own room. Why so? Uh, Your Majesty, then this is what the girl said. Your Majesty, even the gods eat the food from my country. So why should I not eat the food of our country? I'm a match tomorrow. Uh, so I have to be energetic. Wow, that is so patriotic. I should visit India once and visit your village where you've been born. This is a, Tell me uh, this thing. What do you need? Uh, your Majesty, what is the need? She said uh, to this thing. And uh, uh, if you want blessing, uh, this thing. Once again, President said, go on. Have my he, she started telling that uh, she was carrying a handbag. She said, uh, uh, okay. He said, one day I should visit India. And get blessed like you. He said, uh, I can give you the blessing here only. She put out her handbag. In her handbag, she was carrying a soil. She was carrying soil of India. She said, this is the soil. I rub it every day and go for the tournament. She said, what is this? What crazy it is you tell me? She said, this soil is the holy soil of my village and my great country. Uh, what is it? He said, this is where the blood of Sardar Bhagat Singh, Ram Prasad Bismil, Azad Chandrasekhar and Rani Lakshmi Bhai. This is not just soil. This is my whole India. Wow, from which university did you get this education? He asked, what kind of a wonderful patriot you are. 
She said, no, 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 nobody. I did not go to school. Baba. Baba taught me. Baba. He, 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 he performs Havana in Arya Samaj temple. I learned this from in this particular. His name is Satyanath Prakash. So this is how exactly it is. And uh, this is the story of this thing. And next day, what happened? She won two gold medals, went back, and Manipur state gave her so much of this thing. She didn't have to sell. She didn't have to sell the gold medal. Manipur government gave her 15 lakhs. The first thing, what did she do? Buy a bullock cart. Yes. First thing what she did was she gave 1 lakh rupees to her coach. That is her Baba. Baba who had given her that Baba, please take this money. Because Baba had taken care of her so well. Baba refused, but she gave. She said, please, uh, this thing, they built a small room where many other students can come and live. And she he, they decided that they will help many other young girls. Second thing is what she did was, we cannot say it in order. Second, buy a bullock car. Yes. So what did we learn from this wonderful story? Coach? Yeah? Coach, first we want to fix a aim and we want to work for the coach. Yes, and it could be very simple. Very, very simple. Riti, make it very simple. Yukta, make it very simple. Don't complicate it. And after that, do nothing. Do nothing. Just work, work, work. Imagine a girl who's got nothing. And with so much of resources, Yashmit. Yes, coach, master in one and jack of all. No, I was talking about that we have so much. We have so much. We can do even more amazing things. Having so many things as you have to use. Imagine she has nothing and she went on to become a gold medalist. So amazing. That's the story of Meera Bhai Chano. Riti, what were you about to say? Coach. Yeah. Aim with start small. Please, Riti, you need to start. Riti, single, I am to become the best interior designer. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. Get disciplined. No one's going to do it. See, how many Meera Bhai Chanos are there? Only one. Only one. That's it. She realized that uh, this is something that she can do. She practiced, practiced, practiced. She was a little bit strong built. Then, from there onwards, did not stop. Whether it was rain, whether it was home, no home. Did not care. Six brothers and sisters lived literally lived in a top of a temple, eating very little and this thing. Coach. Yes, Yuta. Coach, age is just a number. She achieved her first goal. She started when she was eleven. So age is just a number. And second is yeah, dream, uh, dream big but start small. Always stay grounded. Never go away. The moment she she uh, the moment the president heard about her bringing rice, making her own rice from her uh, native country, that inspired him, and he wanted to visit India. So always stay grounded, even though you've achieved something big. Always stay grounded. Yeah. Okay. That part I did not complete. I just wanted to tell you about uh, that particular part. Uh, thank you, Yukta. Thank you for reminding me. And uh, that part is what happened is. When uh, uh, Mirabai Chanu was this thing eating, when she was not looking, he picked up. He picked up. Uh, he picked up a rice and he ate. <laughs> he he wanted to taste. Wow, what country and what fire! Everybody is eating here such amazing food, and this girl is eating her own rice, which she has cooked up in her own room. She carries her own rice. She carries a little. The soil, her own vessels, does every other thing, isn't it? So when she was not looking, he picked up a rice from her plate, leftover rice, picked it up and ate. Amazing, right? These are the Ji, pretty people. These are the inspiration that people need. Yes. Gee, lots of things to learn, really. And uh, 
um, simplicity her simplicity uh, and uh, um, her age is not a like uh, it is not a criteria to achieve things and she listened to a person who told that uh, how you can um, you can earn the money so she it made her to think about this a root cause and but she didn't uh, follow the way what he told she took her own decision like uh, her own choice like she was um, um she was putting effort for her success only she was the, she took responsibility and she took effort for her success and the success uh, like gave her this uh, place that though she didn't have that much education whatever maybe her uh, background who were like that but the president gave her the respect so the respect cannot be earned it has to be um, like i have to work for my respect yeah whatever my like that. yes thanks to very nice sir see uh, one thing that uh, uh, that sashikala ji sashikala coach mentioned was that respect is not going to come you have to earn it you have to work towards it there is no other go isn't it so you guys are young you guys can put your families on the map make you can become legends start start no blame and, and and sorry ji could i add one thing that uh, she didn't blamed her family that i am a poor family what to do foolish fellow these people i they didn't give me they are not supporting me like that they she didn't blamed but she took it like choice na, and she made her family itself proud awesome thank you so much yes what a so much so much to learn from a small story ha ah, yes coach how much bigger we are growing we would not to forget the person who helped for commerce up yeah she not forgive i mean forget uh, she gave 1 lakh rupees to her coach her baba wonderful no so nice great coach? thank you so much yes coach we have to do hard work uh, we have to do hard work and hard work never fails uh, efforts uh, for our target we have to continue that and surely one get we can we can achieve our target wonderful yes hard work always pays that's really nice i will send you the blog that was written in 2021 when that time she became a world champion world listing and uh, there are some other things about her yeah so we are proud of you chanu saikom mirabai you are a superb leader this blog was written by anjali of superb women from leadership academy lovely okay please over to yukta yukta can you please take over Yes, everybody, please sit in Vajrasana. Uh, Riti, today I am going to send you this blog. Now I am going to send this blog to you in your group. Please read this and write about it. Okay, and also study and learn a little bit. Okay, believe in yourself. Yes, it's all about people with nothing are doing great things. we on the other hand can do even much more bigger things okay can sit in vajrasan yes everybody in vajrasana coach yes riti my phone is not in charge uh continue however long it goes yes Let's sit in Vajrasan. Sit in Gyan Mudra. Close your eyes and let's start with a short, short meditation.
Let's start with alternate nasal breathing. Ariti, in alternate nasal breathing, the two fingers will be placed on the forehead. Now let's start with B breathing, six counts. Hum. 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 Let's start with Energizer. Now, cross your hands and let's start with our gratitude. Thank you, self. Thank you, self, for being such an amazing person. Always so empathetic. Always kind. Always caring. Always considerate. Always working hard towards your goal. Always Preeti, not you have to lock your hands. Preeti, you have to lock your hands in the ulta way. Uh, for always be thank you, self, for always being kind. Always considerate. Always caring. Thank you, sir, for being hard working for uh, and using hard work plus smart work to uh, to make success. Thank you, uh, thank you, sir, for being uh, always being grateful for what you have and not wanting more. Now, thank you, two pairs of support, your mom and uh, your mom and your dad, for always supporting you, for always giving you everything you need. Food to eat, shelter to live in, and clothes to wear. Thank you, family members, your friends, for always staying by your side, for always supporting you, for always helping you whenever they need, whenever you need them. Now, thank your gurus, your teachers, your coaches, for always teaching you the right things, or always telling you what what the right, what the right is and what the wrong is. They've always led you in the right direction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, thank Mother Nature for always being there for you. Um, it, it has always given you resources like food and water. Now, thank finally, thank the Almighty, the God, the Lord, for always giving you every, everything in abundance. Hard work, empathy, kindness, care, caring. And, um, hard work. Now. Now imagine a, a great white light coming towards you. It enters your head, your face, your neck, your chest, your arms, your hands, your fingertips. Then it goes down your, uh, your chest, your stomach, your thighs, your calves, and your toes. Head to toes, toe to head. Always uh, fully blessed with the great white light. Now let's start with our, our goal meditation, goal visualization. Visualization.
Now let go of your hands, answer in your heart and repeat after me. I'm amazing. I'm awesome. I'm empathetic. I'm hardworking. I always use smart work. I'm always happy with what I have. I'm grateful for what I have. I have gratitude for everything and anything and everything. I'm lovable, I'm capable, and I'm a superb human. Raindrop claps, one, two, three, four, five. Snap your hands. First one. Second one. Last one. Slowly open your eyes and see this world by the place. Done, coach. Thank you, Uta. Thank you. Uh, see, Riti, it lasted till the end. Thank you so much, everybody, for your wonderful participation. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Live powerfully, live purposely. You guys are superb humans. Bye bye. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. It'll help us, it'll inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also do visit our website. Thank you so much.